Hey everybody, you're tuned in to the Free Matt Podcast. I am Matt Freemat. Usually the Free Matt Podcast is a libertarian roundtable type discussion. I usually pull up articles, we discuss them, we joke, we have social commentary and very other, uh, what do you call that, uh, rabbit hole type jokes. I used to drink, I got coffee in my hand right now really all for the booze. It's for health. But my usual partner in crime, General Patrick Flynn, he is not here today. Uh, generally speaking, we've had, we've had some health and travel and family issues that we focused on. I've spoke with him. He's doing all right. And I hope that we can get back to doing it sometime soon. He wishes you well the same. Today's, and I had to go off some notes, I had to email myself this one, because it made me laugh, and I wanted to do some social commentary. Saturday Night Live cast members won't be forced to act alongside host Elon Musk if they don't want to, report says. And this was uh, Yahoo News, one of my least favorite places to go to for news. And uh, to give credit, that was Sophia Ankel. A-N-K-E-L. I apologize if I destroyed that. And it said that was uh, May 1st, 2021, Saturday. And, uh, of course, the little bullet points, it said, Saturday Night Live cast members don't have to act with Elon Musk if they don't want to, a report says, which doesn't mean anything. That means the janitor told him that. But no cast members have pulled out of the show yet, a source told Page Six. The decision to have Musk which is funny to say that host the show next week led to discontentment among some cast members. Um, I wanted to go down here and, um, as, Oh Lord, as much as I wanted to laugh about some of this crap, cause I'm not huge on any of this non newsworthy news. There's a reason why I brought it up. I th- here's here's this should be Saturday Night Live has become candy ass. I'm not demonetized because nobody cares anyway about what I say, and I don't have sponsors. I love sponsors. I'll shill if you need me to. But it says whether you'd like him or not, the so- Elon is a very interesting character. He's very much a showman because he believes in his product and he's a hype man for himself. Good. All right. He confirmed his appearance on the show last week, telling his $52 million, $52 million, oh, that's funny, 52 million Twitter followers. Let's find out just how live Saturday Night Live really is. Alongside a purple devil emoji. Okay. But several members of the comedy show posted veiled criticisms on social media shortly after the announcement. Bowen Yang, who joined the show as a staff writer in 2018, posted a frowning emoji on his Instagram, you know, Magigram story around the same time the lineup was announced. It remains clear whether his story was related to the announcement. However, he later responded directly to Bus tweet writing, What the F does this even mean? on his Instagram story. Bear with me. Just remember that. And of course, A.D. Bryant, who I remember on the show, the one of the few times in the past 15 years I was able to watch it, a repertory player on the SNL roster since 2012, also reshared a tweet by Senator Bernie Sanders about the absurd economic inequality in the U.S. shortly after the announcement. Please bear with me on this. Although the tweet itself didn't directly mention Musk, it did point to the 50 wealthiest people in this country with a net worth of $179.5 billion. Musk is on the top of this list, according to Forbes, the Forbes magazine. Fans have since noted that Bryant removed the tweet, and I shouldn't have said that, but there's a reason why I did. Of course, NBC did not immediately respond to Insider's request for comment, because they probably needed time to say something lily livered. That brings me back to what I said about Bo and Yang. And of course, it said the comment is no longer on his account. 
And of course, A.D. Bryant removed the retweet. And the reason why I bring this up, these people are hands down doing better than, than, than we are. And I think people like that have, they're so anti-capitalist or at least so ignorant of what working people do. Yeah, they might have been part of the starving artist crew at one time, but I strongly doubt these people, they stayed that way because they're making dough now. And the thing, the, the reason why I say this, they're, they're, more, they're more unequal than we are. They're on top of the world. And it, it takes a hypocrite like A.D. Bryant to say something about, uh, I won't call him Cerny Banders, but Bernie Sanders, who's a, who's a millionaire and owns multiple houses. Well, the vast majority of people who suffer from inequality don't own any houses. Or they live in public housing and stuff like that. You see where I'm getting at. I think these people are virtue signaling. I think they're cowards. Why I would say they're cowards. Because Bowen Yang, Bowen Yang the comment is no longer on his account. Either it was erased, which I imagine it was, or there was a terms of service issue and or a, a virus. We'll just stick with, hey... Bo and Yang erased it. And, uh, you know, looking back down here, I uh, said about her, of course, uh, removed the retweet. Was it because people said, hey, it's real funny. You're probably a millionaire. You make that much money a year not, not doing that much work. Or other, you know, jabs. Not my words, somebody else's. The thing I would say is, I think you're cowards. If this is what you believe in, stick to your guns. I believe you're cowards. And and would I tell you that if I needed to in public? Maybe, maybe not. But you know what? I'm not going to act like I'm not special when I make more money. There are people right now, hillbillies and people out in the sticks and the housing projects, I'm doing a hell of a lot better than they do. I had, to, I look... I had a normal family life. I, I've done a lot better. I've had more opportunities. I, I didn't have a family member rip me off. I didn't get raped by an aunt. And yes, that's that really has happened to other people I've known because it was commonplace in their community. But I'm not going to lie to somebody. I'm not a coward and I'm not playing the, I'm not playing the, what do you call it, the virtue signal train. I'm not acting like I'm something I'm not. I'm a busted uh, I'm a busted guy wearing a cowboy hat in his basement, just telling you the news. And you know what? It doesn't make me a coward. I'm not special. And I said, well, somebody would ask, well, what, why do you, I says, what makes you so special? I'm not. I'm just a guy. And you know what? Don't listen to these people. Elon Musk, he has a unique service, a unique product that he gives. And you know what? He's been able to capitalize on it. Is some of it, is some of it uh, speculation? Sure, but some of his products have at least have been marketable. And you know what? I know people who don't create marketable products, therefore they don't make money. And you know what? It's supposed to be a free market, and you have a free market to not do anything with your life. And those actors and the writer have been known to capitalize on it, and they get capital for capitalizing. In a free market. Wow. Yeah. Let's not be special here. All right, folks. We'll get off that soapbox. Notifications over there somewhere. Oh, uh, there's some likes. Um, let me see. Do, 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 do. Subscribe. Way down there, pointing at the crotch region, is the hate email address. Further down, I guess, to the taint of the page would be... Uh, Twitter and Parler, which sucks, but do it anyway if you need to. Gab, they're still there somewhere. Oh, Lord. I probably missed somebody, but if you need to send he uh, some hate emails, feel free to. I'm here. I'll even read them. Look, if you read this, I'll read them on air. Say, hey, I'll, I want you to read this on air. I'll even have a special one. I'll even read it on air for you. All right? 
please take care of yourself. Don't be a sellout and watch the membership or the viewership of Saturday Night Live drop to nothing unapologetically. Please take care.